Welcome everybody, and today we're talking about the final shoe in the Saucony Endorphin Collection, and that's the Saucony Endorphin Shift. So let's talk about the specs of the shoe. Well, it is a he significantly heavier shoe than the two other um, shoes in the Saucony Endorphin lineup, coming in at 10.4 ounces for a men's size 9. This shoe is almost 3 ounces heavier than the Endorphin Pro, but it's not the end of the world. It also has a significantly higher stack height at the highest stack height that I've ever, I've ever run in at 38 millimeters, which is significant. It's a neutral shoe. Um, it is true to size, um, and it, it's solidly, solidly built. So let's talk about a little bit about how it looks. Well, the first thing you'll notice is it's not a very flexible shoe. And the reason that is, it's actually less flexible than the Speed. The reason that is, is to get that endorphin um, speed roll technology that Saucony's been talking about. So the stiffness is going to mimic a little bit how you, that speed, that rolling feeling that you're running with in both the Pro and the Speed, which is the whole point of this shoe. It's for easy runs. You can do some pickups and some tempos at the end, but it's certainly not um, for your for your races. Easy, easy runs. Um, but working upwards, you notice it has the giant stack, 33, 38 millimeters, which is the highest stack I've ever run in. It has a heel cup to provide you with support because of that stack height. And it even, on the inside, has a little bit more supportive rubber in here. On the bottom, it has about uh, it has a little bit more tread um, than the speed and the pro on it, so it can last a few more kilometers. And the upper is um, still not the typical Saucony upper. It's a little closer to what's on the speed, but it's certainly going to be more durable. The tongue than the pro. The tongue is a, a little bit heavier, and with the heel cup, I suspect that. Uh, that it will last some miles. And now, I do not know, unlike the other two, Saucony said the other ones are going to last about 400 kilometers. I'm not sure what the, uh, what the range is on this shoe. Having said that, it doesn't have the beaded technology in the, um, the outsole and in the foam that the Pro and the Speed have, which is really what provides all, a lot of the energy return. Um, instead, it just has the power run foam, which you can also find in the Saucony Convara, the Saucony Ride, um, and is a much softer foam than the Ever Run. but when you, when you run in this after um, running in the, uh, the beaded foam, you can really feel the difference. So what's my opinion on the shoe? Well, when I first took it out, I really felt uh, clunky, like the shoe is, uh, the, the shoe is heavy and and I was having problems feeling that rolling. Um, and that's because on my left foot, I think I was having a little bit of heel slippage. So you'll notice, um, and now this is the right shoe, but what I've done is I've tied it with the, uh, I've moved up one of the, uh, lo the loops here, and I've tied, and I've been able to stop that heel slippage in, on my left foot. Um, I also wasn't a giant fan of these, but, uh, whatever these are called, these pull tabs. But, um, you know what? I really like the look of this shoe, despite them. So, that's good. Um, as I got used to the stack height, then I started to really kind of come into my own with the shoe. As I said, it doesn't feel as soft, but as the, um, as the speed, or as the speed in the pro, I should say, but you can really, really, f you can start feeling that roll once you start to get up for me, around 440 per kilometer, 430 per kilometer, which is like 715 per mile. Someone can correct my math if I'm wrong. But I, I really like the shoe. I'm going to enjoy it for easy runs. I wouldn't take it out for any speed work, and that's not what it's built for. Um, I'm going to kind of rotate between this and the Triumph um, for those runs, because I think the Triumph has that beaded foam that provides that energy return a little bit more softness, whereas this one is really to mimic what you're going to feel on the speed. So it also depends, and the pro, 
So it also depends what you're training for, right? So if I'm training for a marathon, I'm going to do significantly more miles in this because I want that feeling of rolling forward. But if I'm running, if I'm training for cross country, um, and I'm not going to be racing in the, the the speed of the pro, for example, then I maybe this shoe isn't needed for you. So buy, try, pass. Um, well, I would call this a buy for anyone who loves the Socket Endorphin Pro and the Socket Endorphin Speed, um, just like I do. Um, I'm glad I purchased this shoe. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I wasn't sure what to think when I first tried it on. I wasn't even sure what to think when Saucony released it. But I think this and the Speed are actually diamonds in the rough. Because unlike some of the other brands, they Saucony set up, and I'll, I'll do this in a separate video, but they've, done, they've set up a line where all the shoes complement each other. And that's so important because I find that in other brands you can land, um, you, you have a different running feeling the whole time, if that makes sense, or a different running feeling in each shoe. You're landing in a different part of your foot. And so for something like a marathon where you want to, where the whole point is to run as many miles as you can to mimic that, or to get into that race mode and your foot needs to feel uh, or at least mimic a lot of mileage so that you can race your best. You want to do your easy miles in something without a carbon plate uh, because we don't know the effects of a carbon plate on your foot uh, yet. So you want to be able to do your easy miles and still be able to mimic that feeling that you get in that carbon plated shoe and at least in the rolling. And this is an awesome shoe for that. For people, again, looking to try out what a carbon-plated shoe feels like, and you're not convinced on the speed, although I would, I would go with the speed avenue, um, the, the shift is a, a great option. I've, I've really, I, as I said, I didn't, the first run, I wasn't so sure, but I've grown to like it since, um, and I'm going to take, take it over for my run tomorrow. Um, but ultimately, I love the look of this shoe. I love the look of the whole line, but this shoe in particular, just looks clean, and so I'm not going to run in any dirt with it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in.